time for Cardinal football. Welcome to this year's season finale of Otterbein football here at Memorial Stadium in Westerville, Ohio. I'm Chance Burke, and I'll be with you for a matchup between the Otterbein Cardinals and the John Carroll Blue Streaks. John Carroll comes into the game with a record of 7-2, and two, while Otterbein is still in search of their first win on the season. Regardless of the win-loss category, this will be a big-time game for the Cardinals. A win here, even a good performance, could build momentum going into next season. And it's also a big-time game for all of the seniors on the team. This will be their last game as a college football player. So we might be, might be able to see some, uh, some of the veterans step up and make their last game count. As I think they said John Carroll is going to receive here as we get ready. Nearing just a minute here before we get the season finale here in Westerville started. Among the seniors for the Cardinals the is linebacker Cardinals. Bobby Buckler. He ranks fourth in the conference this fall with 86 tackles. And if he can get 14 today, he would be the second Cardinal in the last decade, along with Drew Irvin in 2015 with 100 stops on the season. He's racked up 25 combined tackles in his last two games, so not out of the ballpark to get 14 here. It'll be tough, but, you know, senior day magic is in the air here on a very chilly day here in Westerville. It's even cold in the booth. And when it's cold in the booth, you know it's even colder on the field. And all those hard hits are going to hurt even more. So hoping all the athletes can, can stay healthy today, stay safe, as we are at 10 seconds here before we get started here. So we'll see Otterbein kick off to the defending blue streaks. And they have been hot all season. Second place in the OAC behind only the first ranked Mount Union. But they've been dominant all season. They've racked off seven straight wins before last week's loss against Mount Union. And they won by an average margin of 30 points per game. And a big reason for that is the Blue Streaks quarterback Joe Collins. He ranks second in the OAC for passing yards averaging over 250 yards per game and passing touchdowns, which he has 25 this season. As we get ready here for the they kick. The kick off for so we see a very ecstatic Otterbein sideline. Here's the kick. Short sky kick here. Going to be fielded around the 25. He's going to be pulled down by a group of Cardinals around the 32 yard line as we get our first look at quarterback Joe Collins and this John Carroll offense we also get to see the Cardinal defense that has proven itself in various different points across the season a lot of big time playmakers including a fifth year journeyman Tayon Howard uh, the number five is super important to Otterbein and he was selected to wear the prestigious number five this season and although he wasn't planning to return he is tied with five interceptions on the year for the OAC as we see our first play a sweep off to the near side he's going to be tackled and on the tackle there first tackle of the game is number 24 Randy Cochran Jr. He's been huge for this Cardinal defense all, all season. See if he can't leave his mark on today's game. Randy Cochran on the stop for Otterbein. Be around a, uh, Play game to the it's like a second and line. four. Second down four. Out of the shotgun, here's Collins. Sends a man in motion. It's going to be another run up the middle. And it looks like he will be, be interested where they spot him. Looks like they're going to give and him the first McVay down. On the carry for John Carroll. It's McVeigh on the run there. And they are going to give him the first down. So he'll be at the 43-yard line here. Good little Played first couple of plays here for the Blue Streaks. Yet to see Collins air it out here. See if they decide to go to the passing game here. Since a man in motion. Got three to the near side. Here's Collins to pass. Looking right. He's going to go up the middle now. 
and a flag on the play. Nico Georgiou on the carry, penalty marker we'll on the play. See what they call. Like a couple of Cardinals there on the tackle. Tadell Edwards on the stop. Maybe for a possible. Line. Maybe a possible hold there. We'll see what they call. Defense. They're going to call a face mac on the defense. That's Danelle Edwards, the freshman defensive lineman. So that's going to give him a free first down there. So still haven't seen Collins air it out yet, but face, mac's, face mask gives him a new set of downs as they get into Cardinal territory here. Get the 42 yard line. Two receivers. On the far side, here's Collins in the shotgun. Sending a man in motion. It's going to be a pass again. Heavy pressure, but he gets the pass off, and it's going to be a big gain. He's going to be pushed out around the 28, 27 yard line. Big time play there by Collins. Staying cool in the pocket and under pressure, delivering the ball, and a big time gain here for the Blue Streaks. They're going to say there's a penalty on the far side. It's going to be a sideline warning there on Otterbein. Not sure what was going on over there, but John Carroll, big time play stands. So nothing going there, just a little little warning to, uh, to Otterbein there on the sideline. But with the offense rolling here just two minutes into the game, just outside the red zone, Collins in the shotgun again. Looking like the same formation they've had all game, but it's going to be a run here to the near side. And he's going to be pulled down. Looked like on the tackle there, that was 51, Bobby Buckler. Bobby Buckler on the stop for Otterbein. Senior linebacker getting one of the 14 tackles he needs to reach 100. See if he can't rack up a couple more on this drive. See if they can possibly force John Carroll to take a field goal here. New formation here in the pistol. Here's Collins. Two receivers to the far side, out wide. It's going to be play action. It's going to be a screen pass incomplete. Nico Georgie pass incomplete. Good defense there by the Cardinals. Almost came up with a big play, but regardless, it's going to be third down and eight here, just outside the red zone. Yard line, third down eight. Probably see him go back to the passing game here. They had the big play earlier, but after two straight good good stops here by the Cardinals, possible field goal here for the Blue Streaks. Sent the man in motion. Here's Collins. It's going to be a QB draw up the middle, and he is not going to get it. Nico George, the ball carrier. It would be Cochran Jr. and Justin Bartlett bringing him down here for the Cardinals. And it looks like they may keep the offense out on the field early here in the game. Play game to the 22 yard line. And they are. Five. It's gonna be fourth down and five, so fourth and manageable. We'll see if the Cardinals can make it four straight stops here. So it'd be a big time momentum play for the Cardinals. If you can get a stop here and go score, jump out in front, make this a game. But here's shotgun snap trips to the far side. Here's Collins. Over the top, short pass. They can't make the tackle, so it'll be a first down here for the Blue Streaks as he gets pushed out just past the marker. Otterbein, just a tackle short there for making four straight stops. But now the Blue Streaks are in the red zone with a chance to get a touchdown or a field goal here and go up on the Cardinals. Gain to the 16-yard line, first and 10. John a dangerous Carroll. play, but it worked off. Worked out. Empty backfield. Looks like a wildcat. It's going to be a run right up the middle. Now he's bouncing outside to the outside. Big time tackle there. Tackle there by Rashawn Broomfield, the corner. Saving a touchdown there. Laying down the big hit on the near side. Hear that one up in the booth here. Big time play there. It'll be a second and ten. Or second and seven, I'm sorry. After a three yard gain there on first down. Line, second down seven. Looks like they're gonna go back to shotgun with Collins here. Wildcat. 
just wasn't doing it for him here. Sends a man in motion. Got two to the far side. Here's the snap. It's going to be a run up the middle. Not going far. It's a group of Cardinals bring him down around the 12-yard line. Maybe a gain of a couple there. But it'll be third down. Berlante Cousins on the tackle for Otterbein. Be third down and six. Another chance for the Cardinals to force a field goal, but again, fourth down territory. Third they already have the six. earlier conversion on this drive. Be interesting to see what they do here. Third and manageable could either go run or pass here. But they're going to be out of the shotgun with Collins. Here's the snap pass. Staying cool in the pocket, across the middle, caught, and it is going to be a touchdown for John Carroll. Touchdown, John Carroll. The pressure not enough for Collins as he delivers his 26th touchdown of the year. And a big time play and a big time drive here for the Blue Streaks to start off with a touchdown. Drive took about five and a half minutes. With a big time fourth down conversion there just outside the red zone, and it's going to end up in seven points if they can get this PAT to go through. And here's the kick. And it is good, so it'll be an early 7 nothing lead here for John Carroll as we'll get our first look here at the Otterbein offense after they take the kick here. Here's another look here at that touchdown. Big time play by Joe Collins, showing why he is the top of the OAC in passing. Big time drive for him and the rest of the offense jumping out early here on this chilly Saturday in Westerville, Ohio. So we see both special teams unit running out onto the field. Be our first look at Lorenz and Horace and the rest of the Otterbein offense. We've seen different looks, different schemes, different personnel for the Otterbein offense. Try, just trying to find something that clicks. So maybe use this last game as something to see. Maybe use it as momentum or maybe learn something about your team going into next season. But here we are getting ready for the kick. Nine and a half minutes left to go. Seven nothing lead here for the Blue Streaks. And uh, here's the kick. Be a line drive kick. Fielded around the three-yard line, and good return, making a man miss, multiple men miss. They're going to be pulled down around Randy the Cochran 27. That was Randy line. Cochran on the return. About a 24-yard return there for Cochran Jr. Bobby the stop Setting up Otterbein around their own 23-yard line. About a 20-yard return, sorry. So here we see the Otterbein offense. Otterbein football, first and ten. A little bunch formation here to the near side. It's going to be a run up the middle for a couple of yards. They're going to mark them down at the 26-yard line. So they're going to say a gain of three. That's freshman running back Matt Griffin. He had a nice performance in his first college start last week at Ohio Northern, rushing for 101 Lamar yards, on averaging Carroll. nearly six yards per carry. Seven so seven. see if he can match the results he had last week. As you see the first pass, actually going to be a scramble as he slides down. Hey, last year the ball carrier. The 31. To the 31 yard line. It's actually going to be Caden Lasseter in a quarterback instead Third of Lorenzo Horace. As we see him get a nice little run, set him up with a third and short here, third and two. See if they can't get it and extend this drive. Lasseter sends a man in motion. That's Mangi. He's been huge in the passing game all season for the Cardinals. Here's the snap. And possibly a false start. And it is going to be a false start against the offense. False start, offense, number 84, 
five yard penalty. They're going to call down. that on number 84, and that's Vincent Ferrari, the tight end. So backing it up. So now it's going to be third and seven. A lot less manageable Kelly here. Marks the ball back to the 26 yard line. But still not impossible. Third down seven. We'll see what they what they draw up here. Be Lasseter in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Awkward snap. And he's just gonna have to. He's gonna get sacked for a huge gain. Lasseter loses the snap, and the pressure by John Carroll just too he much. On the tackle. He's gonna be spotted down at the eight-yard line. They're gonna have to punt it away. So a third and two ends Lots up yards in a big time line. sack. Fourth and 25 Fourth here. And 25. So a loss of 18 there. And Otterbein's gonna have to punt. Aiden Snyder in punt formation. Tough having your kicker kick out of his own end zone, but he does get it off. Be a knuckle, fumbled. Knuckleball kick is fumbled, and Otterbein's going to get the ball back. Big time break there for the Cardinals. So we see the blue a blue streak injured on the field, hoping he's okay. But an awkward looking kick is muffed, and the Cardinals are going to retake possession, and they're going to mark him down at the 39 yard line. Hoping the John Carroll player is all right, but basically a new set of downs for uh, for the Cardinals. That was an interesting turn of events there, but Otterbein's going to take back over at the 39, get another chance to come out and get some points. That's everything you wanted if you're Otterbein. Otterbein recovers the football at the 39-yard line. First and 10, Cardinal. False start sets you back, and then the sack sets you back even more. Then a big break's got you first and 10 near midfield here. Here's last of the snap. It's going to be up the middle, and another gain of a few here for Griffin. Griffin, the ball carrier. Nice little three-yard gain to start start off the drive there. It'll be second and seven. Looking like to hurry up. Trips to the far side. Here's the snap to last. There's going to be a screen. Low pass. Maybe roughing the passer. We saw Laster get hit as he threw it. Flag in the backfield. Low pass by Lasseter, but they might, they might get a break out of it. See what the call foul, is. The it is roughing the passer. Defense, number 15, 15-yard 15 penalty. Be a 15-yard gain down. for Otterbein. They're going to go across midfield. So back-to-back -back big time breaks here for the Cardinals has got them in John Carroll territory. Penalty will mark the ball. Going to mark them at the 43-yard line. line. See Lasseter First empty backfield. Cardinals. He's got receivers all over the place. Now sending a man in motion. Looking to the near side, and it's going to be caught by Armani Burton. Eight Lassiter's pass complete to Armani Burton. Nice little gain of about five there on first down. First Eight completed pass the there for Caden Lassiter. Second down. You're going to go to the hurry up again. Here's Griffin up the middle. Another big time gain. And they're going to mark him. Looks like they're going to give him the first down. And they are. So two good Garrett plays going to result in a new Carroll. set of downs here for Otterbein as they're inching closer to the red zone. Yard line. First and ten, Cardinals. Getting deeper and deeper in enemy territory here. Six and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Otterbein still in search of their first points of the game, but this drive's turning out good. We'll see how it ends. Here's Lasseter, empty backfield. He's going to move a man into the backfield with them in motion. It's like a little miscommunication here with Lasseter and Burton. Here's the snap. Busted play. Lasseter going downfield. It's like maybe a passing interference. No call there. Looking for Armani Dave Burton. Lasseter's pass incomplete. Good Eight defense there by Armani John Burton. Carroll. 
Burton hoping for a, a P.I. call there. Doesn't get it, but a busted play almost turns into a touchdown. So not the worst, not the worst possible thing here for Otterbein. See, the ball is on the 33-yard line, just 13 yards here out of the red zone. Be second and 10. The pistol formation here. Two receivers to the near side, sending a man in motion. Be a run up the middle. Big time run here for Otterbein. And on the run right there, that's number 35, John Lard. Fresh, another freshman running back. Big time game here. Be third and one. Another hurry up. Here he is again, and he's going to get the first down a little bit more. The dual attack of freshman running backs paying off here for the Cardinals early here in the first. So we see John Lard get the first down. First and ten, Cardinals. Be just outside the red zone. They're going to mark them actually at the 20, so they are in the red zone here. Just under five and a half minutes. Empty backfield for Lassiter. Now he's got a man to his right. Sends a man in motion. Here's a snap. Be a pass. Play action. Looking for his man on the far side. Just a little out of reach there for Burton. Would have been a nice gain if they could have connected. But it'll be second down to 10 here at the 20 yard line. Down 10. Five minutes left to go. Otterbein stringing together a good, good offensive drive here. Gotta think, worst case scenario, you get a field goal here. As long as you stay away from turnovers. But what you really wanna do is come tie the game up here, put some pressure on John Carroll. Here's Lasseter in the shotgun. It's going to be a handoff up the middle. Griffin maybe getting a Not yard out of it. Here. Looks like they're just going to put him back at the original line of scrimmage. So nothing going there. Be third down and 10. On the stop for John Carroll. Now the Cardinals are going to hurry up. No gain on the play. The empty third backfield here with Lasseter. Three to the far side, two to the near side. Here's the snap. It's going to be battered down. Great defense there. Lasseter's pass broken up by Thomas Farin. That's Thomas Farin, the senior defensive lineman for John Carroll. Coming up with a big time play. Maybe just a little bit out of field goal range here. So it looks like the Otterbein offense is going to stay on the field. See if they can't. Get a big time fourth down conversion here, fourth and ten from their own, from the uh, John Carroll twenty yard line. Here's the snap. It's going to be a pass. Looking to the near side, it's going to be intercepted. Threw it right to him. Good coverage there by the Blue Streaks coming up with an interception. And it's going to be John Carroll football going the other way. So the offensive drive there by the Cardinals is going to come up empty with an interception there. And with four and a half minutes to go, we'll see Joe Collins and the Blue Streak offense retake the field. Ball returned to the 16 yard Got line. two to the far side. Here's Collins out of the shotgun, man to his left. See if the Cardinals can make another stop here. The handoff here to the near side. Tackled by a group of Cardinals after about a gain of two. Mason Sullivan, the ball carrier. You say Sullivan on the handoff. He's second and second and eight here. First and Volk's on the stop for Otterbein. At the 18 yard line of John Carroll. Eight of two like possible eight. audible here for Collins. He's got all of his receivers to the far side. See if he. Now he sends a man in motion to the near side. Collins, another handoff. It's going to be tackled after a short gain. 
Base it, Sullivan, the ball carrier. Two. Good start here for the Cardinal defense on this second op offensive drive for John Bobby Carroll. Bobby Buckler on the tackle for Otterbein. Bobby Buckler again on the tackle, inching closer to the 100 Nobody mark. On the play, third down, eight. Be third down and eight after a gain of, of nearly nothing getting back to the line of scrimmage there. Put a little pressure on Collins in this John Carroll offense. Let's get a big time third down conversion here. He's got two to the far side, one on the near side. Possible man coverage. Here's Collins. He's got a man caught and they're going to get the first down to the He's far side. To Good pitch and catch of about 12 yards Zach there. Heimer on the stop for Otterbein. They're going to mark him down the at the 28 yard line. Yard line. John it should be a gain of 10. Be first down to 10 here for the Blue Streaks. Trying to add to their, their score column. Man in motion. Collins has got two guys here to the near side. Collins. Going to be a handoff. Going to be a good gain here. Base and ultimately the pulled down by Tayon Howard. Fifth year journeyman. He's going to be pulled Howard down after about a gain of four. They're going to mark him down at the 32 yard line. Be second and six here for the Blue Streak Playing offense. The 32 yard line, second down six. See what they decide to do here. Second and six. Here's the snap. Here's Collins. Going to be another handoff. Another big gain. Pushed out of bounds by Cochran Jr. But not before he gets a first they down. Pushing it out to here. the 40 yard line. Inching closer Pushed to midfield. Otterbein still in search of a the big stop they need. See if they can't catch another big break like they did on the muffed punt. But uh, we'll see what they, what the John Carroll offense decides to do here. Still got 60 yards to go. So we're just under a minute and a half here in the first quarter. See if they'll, we'll see how this drive ends out before the quarter. Play action, here's Collins going deep. He's got a man, he's gonna be passing interference. Pass That's number seven, Tyree Gunnell on the pass Jordan interference. Station. So be a gain of 15 yards here. Probably the best thing you could have hoped for for Otterbein. Collins had the man over the top. And if it wasn't for the PI, possible touchdown there. So, you know, give him 15 yards, but possibly saving seven points. Just to look at it. In a positive way. But now John Carroll has reached Otterbein Middle territory, marking it at the 45 yard line. John as the Blue Streaks are in the pistol formation with two to the far side, one to the near. It's going to be another play action. It's going to be a screen pass here to the near side and a big time gain. Finally pulled down by Taewon Howard. That was number 87, Lucas Desario, the tight end. Big time gain. They're going to mark it at the 29 yard line of Otterbein. Another set of new downs here for John Carroll. We're just under a minute here in the first quarter. Be out of the shotgun. Here's Collins. Looking like the same formation as he sends a man in motion. Another pass play. Pulled down Eco pass by Edwards. It's like a penalty, play. maybe another face mask. Saw him pulled down awkward. But we'll see what the ref says. See the ref about to come on the mic. Edwards for Otterbein didn't look too happy. And it is a face mask. 
So another big time break here for the John Carroll offense. So they're going to move deeper into Otterbein territory, and they're going to get half of the distance to the goal. And they're going to mark them down inside the red zone, about the 14 and a half yard line. 30 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. 14 yards out of their second touchdown. Penalty will spot the ball at the 15 yard line. First and 10, John Carroll. As the clock starts back up, counting down this first quarter here. Chilly Saturday in Westerville, Ohio. See Joe Collins can get his 27 touchdown pass here. Sends a man in motion. It's going to be a handoff. He's going to take off and he's going to be pulled down by Taewon Howard. In the ball carrier. Taewon Howard. Taewon inside Howard the 10-yard line as we wrap up the first quarter here at Memorial Stadium. And after a first That's quarter, the first quarter. seen a lot of good things from the defense and offense if you're Otterbein. Head of the first quarter, but after Carroll, seven, first Otterbein, quarter of play here, zero. it'll be 7 nothing in favor of John Carroll here on BoxCast TV in Westville, Ohio. Unlike other health concerns, mental illness is not always easy to see. D E P R. Mental illness doesn't show up on a scale. Bipolar? Sorting out a mental health concern takes professional diagnosis and treatment. Anxiety. I thought so. If you or a loved one has a mental health concern, don't go it alone. For 24 hour free and confidential information and treatment referral, call 1 800 662 HELP. Learn more at SAMHSA.gov slash support. This is Chance Burke as we have an exciting matchup between John Carroll and Otterbein. And after first quarter of play, 7-0 in favor of the Blue Streaks. But they're inching closer to their second score of the game as they are on the nine-yard line of Otterbein. And we'll see what their offense can do here. See if the Otterbein defense can come up with a big-time turnover or a big-time stop. That can change the tide of this game. Ball spotted at the 10 yard line, second down, John Carroll. The second down at six from the 10 yard line. Looks like Wildcat here. Collins out here on this near side. See what they decide to do here out of the Wildcat. Here's the snap, gonna be a run up the middle. And gonna be a good gain, but pulled Pulled down by a group of Cardinals. Evan McVay, the ball carrier. They're going to mark him down at the five-yard line after about a five-yard run by McVay here, bringing up third and one for John Carroll. Brandy Cochran and Carson Volks on the stop for Otterbein. McVay's had a good game so far in the run game. Tried to punch it in there for the touchdown and possibly the first down. Third down one. Be third down and one. You see another Wildcat look here with McVay. Here's the snap. Looks like the same play. This time it's going to result in a touchdown. touchdown. Looks like maybe could have been brought down short, but the refs are going to call it a touchdown here. It's going to extend the lead 13 to nothing here for John touchdown. Carroll early in the second quarter. And with a made PAT, it'll be 14 nothing. For the Blue Streaks. Johnny Wallace for the point after. Owen Sucker, the holder. Here's the kick. Put him up by 14. And it is straight through the middle. It is good. So just over kick 14 minutes ago left in the game. Left in the second, second quarter. Half, quarter. 14, Otterbein, 14 nothing lead here for the Blue Streaks. Otterbein still in search of their first points. We've seen, seen the offense string together a couple good plays here and there, but ultimately turnovers and penalties are coming back to, to bite them in the end. We'll see another return here 
had a 20 yard return. Carroll scoring drive, 10 plays, 84 yards. By Cochran Jr. Seconds off the clock. On the first kick. We'll see who gets the return here. It's like Alamo in the backfield. Oh, and Shucker to kick off for John Carroll. Alongside Cochran Jr. See if Otterbein depends on their dual threat of freshman running backs here on this drive. But it's like Alamo is going to receive it about the 11 yard line, making a man miss, but ultimately pulled down around the 21. Carlos Alamo, on the it's like they're going to mark him exactly where he went down here at the 21 yard line. So a gain of 10 on the line drive kick. You see the Otterbein offense run back onto the field for their, really their third possession of the game. Last possession was quickly brought back out after the muffed punt, but ended in an interception just outside the red zone. Here's Lasseter. He's got Griffin in the backfield. He's got two guys on the near side. He's got one and man coverage here on the far side. Looks like penalty markers before the snap. Possible penalty. Maybe a delay of game. Delay of game, offense. And that's what it's going to be. So another penalty hurting Otterbein here. Be first down and 15 now from their. Own 15 yard line. Ball back to the 16, yard 16 line. yard line. First and 15, Otterbein. So making it a little tougher on themselves, but not not too non manageable here. As you see Lasseter here in the pistol formation sending Mangi in motion. It's going to be a run up the middle and result in a gain of about two. Gonna mark him at the 18 yard line. That's Griffin on the handoff. Back Griffin, the ball carrier. Second and 13 here for Otterbein. Jake Phillips and Bricker Teal on the stop. Just for over Carroll. 13 and a half left to play in the second quarter. A little bunch formation Eight, here. Yard line, second down. Trips here on the near side. Got a man to his right. Here's Lasseter out of the shotgun. Now sending a man in motion. Here's the snap. Over the middle, good pass there. Caught. And he's going to be brought down at around the 25 yard line. Caden Lasseter's pass complete to That's Aiden Snyder. Snyder, the senior, there on the catch. It'll be third and eight. Very manageable third and eight. Take a on the stop for Here at the Carroll. 25 yard line. Third and six, actually, so more manageable than the third, third and eight six. here. See if they can't get a big-time conversion here and extend their drive. Big-time momentum play here for the Cardinals if they do convert. Here's the snap. Here's Lassiter, and it's going to be another tipped pass. Had Burton over the top, but Lassiter's pass is tipped at, the, tipped at the line of scrimmage. And we'll see the punt formation come back out here for Otterbein. Last time they punted was on the opposite side of the field out of their own end zone, and it resulted in a muff putt. Snyder in punt so formation. hoping for uh, the same outcome here. Luckily, he's not punting out of his own end zone. So a lot more space, a lot more time here. Gets the kick off. It's going to... Take a cardinal bounce out of bounds. They're going to mark him at about the 42 yard line for John Carroll. So a pretty John good Carroll. punt there. Hitting them back in their, their own territory. But so far, the John Carroll offense is two for two on their drives. First one, a Joe Collins touchdown pass. This last one run out of the Wildcat formation for McVay. So John Carroll showing they can get it done 
in multiple different ways as they hold the 14 point lead here in the first half. Here's Collins out of the shotgun, man to his right, now sitting a man in motion here to the near side. It's gonna be a run up the middle, bouncing to the outside, pushing his way forward to the 49 yard line. Quincy Deusom on the carry for John Carroll. That's Deusom there on the, on the carry. Gonna good gain, be a short second down here. Be a second about three yards. Otterbein still in search of their a big time stop or a big time turnover here on defense. Be a major factor in the game if they they are able to get one of the two. Here's a snap. Be another run here. Another big time game. Bouncing outside. But a good open field tackle there. Quincy Newsom on the carry. Cochran for John Jr. Carroll. Randy Cochran on the tackle for Otterbein. Back to back, big time runs there for John Carroll, setting him up with a new set of downs. Otterbein, 43 yard line, first and 10, John Carroll. Now inside enemy territory. See if they can go three for three on their offensive drives here, extend their lead. Trips to the near side. Here's Collins, snap. Going to be another run, bouncing around, using his vision. And he's going to get about three yards. So another very nice first down play here for John Carroll. Quincy Newsom, the ball About carrier. second and seven here at the Otterbein 40-yard line. Bobby Buckler, Bobby Buckler on the tackle. Second down I'm talking seven. about it all game. Bobby Buckler inching closer to that 100 mark here for tackles on the season. Be the second Cardinal in the last decade to do so. But this time the Cardinals are going to stop the run. Quincy Newsom, the ball Looks carrier. like they're going to mark him here right at the line Stay of scrimmage. On the tackle for so neither loss or game there. So it'll be a third and no seven on the here. Play at the 40 yard line. Third down seven. Here's a chance for Otterbein to step up and make a play. See if they can force a punt here. Be a big time momentum, momentum change there for the Cardinals. See what the DC decides to draw up here. The uh, empty backfield here for John Carroll. Here's Collins. Receivers all over the place. Here's pressure from Otterbein. Collins out of the pocket. He's going to scramble. And it'll be interesting to see where they mark him. And they are going to give him the first the down. Right so we see an injured Cardinal. Sennel Edwards. Hoping he's okay. Getting tended to. Officially, now he's getting up. For defensive injury. Waving off any subs. So must not be too bad. But now he's. Now he's going to limp to the sideline, so Please reset the play clock to 40 maybe seconds. possibly an ankle injury there. Hopefully maybe a little tape job can get him back on the field. Big time player here for the Cardinal defense. But a new set of downs here for the Blue Streak offense. Joe Collins showing he can get it done in the air and on the ground there. Big time scramble first down. But now out of the pistol. First down and 10 from the 31. He's going to run up the middle, bounce into the near side. Broke one tackle, but then pulled down by a group of Cardinals. Buckler in there on the tackle. Quincy Deuce with the ball carrier. It'll be a gain of about three or four. They're going to say it's... at the 27 yard line. Be second about six. Empty backfield here and another Wildcat for John Carroll. Looks like a big time false start. Penalty markers on the play. Everybody. See if they, start, offense. Who they call Everybody it on. The center. 
five yards. <laughs> Everybody but the First center, down. says the ref. Check it out. That's exactly right. Every single one of the receivers on the far side was already mid-route for the ball is snapped. So a big-time break here for the Cardinal defense, pushing them back to the 33, about 32-and-a-half yard line. Be second down about 11 or 12. Collins taking back over here. Got two guys to the near side. Man coverage on the far side. And he's going for the man coverage. Looking downfield. Good passing catch. Another John Carroll touchdown. Touchdown, John Carroll. Joe Collins going deep to the far side. And another score here in the first half for the Blue Streaks. Nico Yorkie's pass complete to Jack Cardamon for the 33-yard touchdown pass. Big time play here. Yachty Bolas for the point after. See if they can make the kick. Bring it up to 21-0. Here halfway through the second quarter. And it's good, straight through the uprights. Kick is good. Eight oh three, second quarter. John Carroll twenty, Otterbein. So Otterbein, Otterbein now down three possessions here. After the big pitch and catch there by John Carroll, still in search of their first points on the game, trying to get a string of plays running here. You see the special team unit for John Carroll get out there as we're waiting for Otterbein to get back onto the field. Oh, and Shucker to kick off for John Carroll. Now with both special teams units on the field, get ready for the kick here. And I'm checking the weather app, and it says it's 49 degrees, but it surely does not feel like it. Super cold up here in the booth. But here's the kick. It's going to be another long line drive kick, fielded at the 10-yard line by Broomsfield. And good little return here, making people miss. He's going to get out to around the 30, 34-yard line. line. So about a 24-yard return there for Broomsfield. Set up the Cardinals with pretty Senior good Andrews field position. Tackle for John Carroll. So you get another another look here at the Cardinal offense. Return to the 35-yard line. First and ten, Cardinals. Lasseter's got trips to the far side. Man coverage here on the near side. Got a man to his right now. Sending a man in motion. Be a, a handoff here. Going to go for about a gain of one. John Lard, the ball carrier. That was the freshman Lard on the carry. Be about a second nine here. From the 36-yard line. Got two guys on both sides of the line of scrimmage here. Sending a man in motion here. Here's Lasseter out of the shotgun. Here's the snap. Looking to the near side. Going to be caught by Mangy. Mangy, good gain. Trying to bounce back. Laying down a big hit on the big defense. And it's going to be a Mickey. first down for the Cardinals. Play game to the 46-yard line. First and 10, They're Cardinals. going to mark it at the 46-yard line. New set of downs, inching towards enemy territory here. Lasseter again, looking over the field, just maybe miscommunication there. Nobody, nobody there as it hits the Eight turf. For Vincent Berardi. Second down, 10. Just under seven minutes to go here. Cardinals looking like they could possibly string together a good offensive possession here. 
after the big play to Mangi. But we'll see. Two guys on both sides here as he sends a man in motion here for Lassiter. Guy to his right. Handoff outside going nowhere. It's the blue streak. Stop it. Behind, uh, the, the, behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a long third down here. Third and 11. Tyler Timmons off the tackle for John Carroll. If you get a good gain Austin here, possibly fourth down territory. Try to claw your way back into this game. Here's Laster, empty backfield. Near side, going to be caught, but not enough for the first down. Getting out to the 49-yard line. That's Jewett on the catch. And here comes the pump formation. Coach Zgorski has been prone to go for fourth downs here, but going to opt to punt here their own side of the field here. So you see the senior Snyder. You're ready to punt his third punt of the game. Here's the punt. Good looking punt. Going to be fair caught at the 20 yard line. So with five and a half minutes to go, we'll see the Blue Streak offense take back over. from their own 20-yard line. John Carroll, both. Got trips to the far side here to start off the drive. See if they'll try to get a, another score here before halftime. They've been in control of the game the whole the whole game with another big time run here. And it looks like another first down for John Carroll after a gain of about 10 or 11 here on the first play of the drive. Play gain to the 30 yard line, first and 10, John Carroll. Looks like they're trying to hurry it up a little bit, so may try to extend their lead going into halftime. I said it earlier that through the last seven games before last game, they won by a margin of 30. Marker before the snap. So they're inching closer to 30. But a false start's going to push him back. So a little break there for Otterbein. Moving him back to first and 15 from the 25-yard line. So a little setback, see if it affects the offense in any way. They've had their way in this game so far, both in the passing game and in the running game. As we see another run here, bounce outside. But good tackle there in the open field by Alamo, bringing him down after a gain of about three. Going to mark him at the 28-yard line. So will be second and 12. Alamo and a good chance here for the Cardinals if you can pin them deep, maybe force a punt and get some good field position for yourself. Go get a score here before halftime. Puts a man in motion. Back to pass. Scrambling now, but he's going to be sacked. Maybe the big time play they Danielle needed. The Danell Edwards who we thought was injured earlier, comes back and gets a big-time play, big-time sack here for the Otterbein defense, pushing back the John Carroll offense. Going to be a long third down. Aside from any big highlight plays here, you got to think you can force a punt, just you know, three and a half minutes left to go. Looks like maybe a timeout, timeout by Otterbein here. 
be their first time out of the half, stopping it with 3.28 to go. And we're going to take our first break here. Home of the Cardinals here on BoxCast TV. Take out all your jammies. A bad one! Good job. Those go in the very top drawer. Top drawer. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium. This is Chance Burke checking in. And as we have a score of 21 to nothing in favor of the visiting John Carroll Blue Streaks. But they have a long third and 18 here. Three minutes and 28 seconds left to go in this first half. See if they can extend their drive or if Otterbein can force a punt and possibly get on the scoreboard before the end of the half. Here's a pass play. Going to turn into a scramble, but he's going to get tackled short. A big-time gain, but not big enough to get him a new set of downs. And we're going to see the John Carroll punt team for the first time this game. Maybe get a good return here from Alamo. You still got counting down from three minutes. Once you get the ball, probably two minutes and about 15 seconds, depending on how long they, they take to punt. Going to be a line drive punt. Not too far. Going to take a cardinal bounce, and they're going to stop it here at the 36-yard line. So with two and a half minutes, 65 yards to go. See if Otterbein comes out aggressive, trying to cut this deficit before halftime. Build some momentum going into the second half. Overall, it's been a rebuild year for Otterbein on the year, but they've seen they can have some success with their two freshman running backs. Lard and Griffin, and Lassiter shown signs of success here in the passing game. Matt Griffin, the ball carrier. As Griffin goes out for the first play of the drive, gets a gain of about four or five. They're going to mark him down at the 40-yard line, gain of five. The play action. Lassiter's got a man, Mangy, big-time gain, pulled down at the 25-yard line. Mangy was wide open. Lassiter found him in the open field. And Otterbein deep into enemy territory here, just outside the red zone. And a great chance here to score before halftime with the big play. Big time play just outside the red zone. Now he's got two on each side. Here's Lassiter out of the shotgun. It's going to be another pass. Looking for Mangy again. And a flag in the backfield possible. Rough in the passer call. And it looks like that's what it is. Pass complete. Don't know if Mangy caught the pass. It looks like he did. Nice catch there by Mangy on a low throw from Lassiter. Chris Golson on the stop for John Carroll. We'll see what the call is here. Looks like rough in the passer. Personal foul, the pass. It is. Defense, so a big time break going to put him inside the red zone. Half the distance to the goal. Going to mark him about the 10 and a half yard line. The minute and a half left. Great offensive possession here for Otterbein. Please reset the play clock to 25 seconds. We'll see what they opt to do here. Penalty marks the ball to the 11-yard line. Looks like they're just First outside. 
the 10 yard line. So it won't be first and goal. We'll be first and 10. New set of downs here. Got a man way over here on the near side. Sends another man in motion. Here's Lassiter. Here's a run up the middle. And a good gain. Going to be inside the five. We'll see where they mark him. They're going to mark him at the four yard line. But with just over a minute, that's a great first play if you're Otterbein. They're going to try to hurry up. They have the two timeouts, but opting not to use them here. Another run here for Griffin, and he is going to be just short. Good stand there by the Blue Streak defense. Let's see if they try to punch it in again here with the run. About 45 Third seconds left one. to go in the game. Third and one from about the two-yard line. We'll see what they do here. Looks like they're going to be out of the pistol. Griffin lined up behind Lassiter. And it's going to be another run up the middle, but does not look like they got it. So a good stand there by John Carroll. So it looks Matt like Otterbein's going to call their second time out. So with 17 seconds left, it'll be fourth and. Play, oh, they are going to say it is. He got the first down. down, short of the touchdown, but got the first down here as Otterbein calls their second time out here, home of the Cardinals on Boxcast TV. day I felt worse. I didn't even want to get out of bed. You're feeling overwhelmed all the time. It wasn't just school or home. It was everything. I didn't think anyone understood. Turns out I had the strength to get myself back. More strength than I knew. I only needed a new way to see things. A new way to see myself. Just needed to take that first step. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium as we get ready for the closing seconds of this second quarter here as Otterbein's first and goal here from about the one-yard line. And here's Griffin on a carry, and it's going to be Otterbein touchdown. Touchdown, Otterbein! The freshman Griffin getting into the end zone. A big-time momentum play as they're going to cut the 21-point deficit down here seconds before halftime. As long as the PAT goes good here, should go into halftime. Just down 14. And I'm sure if you told Otterbein, they would only be down 14 at halftime. To second place in the OAC, who's beating teams by an average of 30 points. They would take it. But overall, it's been a very good game for the Cardinals on defense and on offense. Showing signs of major improvement across the year. Maybe get some hope and yard line. And here's Griffin on a carry, and it's going to be off season. As this year served as mainly a rebuild year. But seeing a lot of good things from both sides of the ball here for Otterbein. We see the Otterbein kicking team take the field for the first time since the start of the game. Along with the John Carroll return team. Otterbein scoring drive, seven plays, 64 yards, two minutes, 19 seconds off the clock. Just heard the announcer say two minute, basically a two minute drive there for Otterbein. When they, we've seen it all season, once they, you know, get into their groove and you know, they go into their hurry-up offense. They can be, they can find success. As we see a little squib kick here, fielded around the 20-yard line, up the middle, big-time return, and John Carroll is going to have field position starting at Otterbein's 40-yard line. 
after a squib kick turns into a gain of about 40 yards. So with six seconds left, not sure how aggressive John Carroll will be. But, I mean, they've had the big passing plays all game, so might see a Hail Mary here. Doesn't look like they're going to take a knee here. Maybe for sure one play, maybe two plays, depending on what they do here. And he's going to go for it. And that's going to be halftime. Nearly intercepted, but we're going to go into halftime with a score of 21 to 7 in favor of the visiting John Carroll Blue Streaks. But overall, it's been a good game for the home team Otterbein Cardinals. A lot of good things on both sides of the ball as we end up in the first half here at Memorial Stadium, Westville, Ohio. Home of the Cardinals here on BoxCast TV. Otterbein has made me who I am because it's helped me to really find myself. Otterbein has given me lots of opportunities to kind of flourish. The Otterbein experience worth it for me is how personalized the classes are and everything and how much of a connection I have with all my professors. Knowing your community and like being involved with the community makes a big difference in how you experience life. I'm really grateful that I got to meet all the amazing faculty and staff here and those who took a chance on me. It made me feel very comfortable and I was able to do things I would typically not do. You get to know your professors and I think that's something that I love the most. Otterbein has definitely made me a lot more confident in myself. The greatest things about Otterbein is it really gives you that chance to stand out and make a difference. I transferred to Otterbein my junior year. The first week was first flight. I met a few friends who were also transfer students and we did the Snyder donut run. I had no idea what it was, but I remember like being like, okay, I want a donut, so I'm doing it. I think my favorite things that I'll take away from college are like being on the team, obviously being on the equestrian team was a huge part of it. I did a bunch of things that like got me involved, so I'm proud of myself in that because I wasn't very involved in high school. It was such a big accomplishment for me to be just recognized on the homecoming court. The reason why I applied was not only for myself, but I also wanted to represent people of color in the court as well. I would like to thank my dear, dear work mom, Kelly Miller. She is someone who has been very supportive and there for me since day one. Melissa Gilbert, she has been there every step of the way and helped me through being a Cardinal Corps leader to just like daily things. Dr. Sin has been supportive to me 
since my freshman year. I would have to thank Meredith Meyer, Dr. Meyer, my psychology advisor. I um, adore her. She is one of my favorite professors I've ever had, and I really think she's helped me find my path here at Otterbein, but also beyond Otterbein. My parents. My parents have been there for me every step of the way, not even my parents, but my family in general. Whoever donated this gorgeous, gorgeous animal, I love him dearly. All the horses that we have here that are owned by Otterbein have been donated, and we can't do this without generosity. I want to say to all the donors that have supported me, thank you so much. I was very um, fortunate to receive the Opportunity Scholarship. I am now able to pursue my my dream of becoming a college counselor in the future. I would say to a donor, thank you for donating to our campus and giving us many opportunities that we've had. And I don't believe I would be where I am today without um, the donations from donors. Thank you for all the donors and like all of what their support also means. And it gives us a lot of opportunities. You belong here. Trust me, there's a place for you here at Otterby University. I was scared to transfer, but it really was one of the best decisions I've made in my college career. From coming from a small town, I think Coming to Westerville has given me uh, the chance to meet people from different backgrounds, which has helped me find new ways of thinking and new ways of understanding the world around me. I just love how close-knit we are, the community here. It feels like there's this own campus vibe, like right when you get on Otterbein. I definitely felt it after I toured here the first time. I'm definitely going to miss my experience here at Otterbein, and I'm truly grateful for the people that I've met because They'll be in my life forever, so I'm, I'm truly grateful for it. It's probably going to be like the best four years, and it really is a shame that it's ending so soon. During COVID, we lost two years, so I think that it ends so soon. Unlike other health concerns, mental illness is not always easy to see. Third line, please. D E P R E S S I O N. Mental illness doesn't show up on a scale. Bipolar? Hmm. <laughs> Sorting out a mental health concern is not something to attempt on your own. Anxiety. I thought so. Like many health conditions, help for mental illness takes professional diagnosis and treatment. And the sooner you seek treatment, the better. Look at that. 6,000 steps and PTSD. If you or a loved one has a mental health concern, don't go it alone. Find out what to do. For 24-hour free and confidential information and treatment referral, call 1-800-662-HELP. Learn more at samhsa.gov support. The one thing that every Otterbein student has had in common since 1871 is that they have lived, worked, and taken classes in Towers Hall. When the building was built, it had circular wooden staircases to get from floor to floor. We are told that the children of the janitors who used to live in the basement would frequently climb to the top of the building and slide down the banister. Back in those days, when there was nothing cutting off the wall, there were windows in the stairwells. Here you can see the remains of one of the openings. An interesting story about the staircases. When the fire code required that cement staircases be put in, the bid was put out to local contractors, and there was one local contractor that came back with a bid that was half of what everybody else had offered. They were a respectable business. There was no reason to think that they were achieving the university, so obviously that's the one that we went with. 
It turns out that they only gave us an estimate for one staircase, not the two that were required. However, it was their fault, not ours, and so they made good, and for that reason, we got two staircases for the price of one. Here on the second floor, there's a lot to talk about. To my left here is the curved wall that is all the remains of the university chapel. It was interesting in the chapel days that what would happen is the freshmen and sophomores would be banished to the upper balcony because the juniors and seniors, being the serious scholars that they were, wanted to be down on the ground level close to the faculty. These days, I think it's safe to say that the seniors would be in the very back of the chapel up against this curved wall. On the other side of the second floor, we have what was the very first library for the university. It was first organized by Professor, later President, George Scott and Tirza Barnes, Otterbein's first official librarian. Books were cataloged under the new Dewey Decimal System and were available to check out during the two to four hours each week that the library was open. Originally, there were separate hours for the men and women to use the library, but by the start of the 20th century, it was a co-educational facility. Coming back to the curved wall, this is one of my favorite projects because I can proudly say I had a bit of a hand in it. When Dr. DeVore, our 19th president, was set to retire, we were looking for ways to honor him. And one of the things that we'd always talked about doing was a president's gallery to honor the men who had led this university over the years. So looking at this lovely curved wall, the last remnant of the chapel, it was decided that this would be the perfect place to set up and create the gallery. The text was written by former president Dr. Thomas Jefferson Kerr based on a program that he did for the Westerville Historical Society several years prior to that. I pulled together a bunch of photographs and thanks to the wonderful folks in marketing and uh, institutional advancement, we were able to come up with what they called the surfboards to mount everything. You'll notice that these are reminiscent of the windows that you see throughout Towers Hall. A president goes on the wall after they have retired. Dr. Krendel is therefore the most recent one. Dr. Comerford will not go up until after he is retired. On the third floor of Towers Hall, the university gave the four literary societies rooms. That's all they gave them empty rooms and said, you can outfit them. At the time of the construction, there were now four of the literary societies, two for the men and two for the ladies. We start down here with the Clyridean room for the ladies, today faculty offices. On the other side, the Philophronian room for the men. This one is today a dance studio. As you walk down the hall, you will notice on both sides large class composites Back in the days when the school was small enough that you could get the entire university into one frame, it was very common that at the end of the year, everyone's senior photo would go into one of these large composites, and then they would live here in Towers Hall. Finally, at the end of the hallway, we get to the last two rooms. The Philalethian Literary Society for the Ladies here on the right. Again, this is all faculty offices today. And then on the left, the Philomathian Room, the last of the intact literary societies. Let's take a peek and see what it looks like. I hereby call this meeting of the Philomathian Literary Society to order. Of course, if this were a real literary society meeting, I would be woefully underdressed and probably fined about 25 cents, which was a lot of money in the 19th century. On the other hand, as you look around the room and you see the trappings with which they furnished their hall, you have to imagine that uh, it was a pretty lucrative group. The chairs are all original to the early 20th century. The stained glass windows probably predate that into the 19th century. But the overall look of the room was designed by Columbus architect, actually Westerville architect, Frank Packard. The Philomathian room was used by the literary societies until the 1920s. At that point, really, the fraternities and sororities were killing off the literary societies. After the society closed up, this was used as a classroom and a meeting room. For a long time, it was used as storage. And then finally, in the 1980s, the aforementioned Dr. Harold Hancock, along with a handful of other faculty members, including biology professor Gene Willis, got together, raised funds, and restored the room to its rightful early 20th century look. The room has been used ever since then for special occasions, concerts,
classroom work, lectures, and uh, occasionally a historical video. On the left side of the entrance to the Philophronian room, you'll notice a janitor's closet. And if you can sneak in the janitor's closet like we have, you will see this old safe. We really don't know much about the history of it. I would assume it went with the, Philomathi or the Philophronian room. But one thing we do know is today, it guards and protects our air conditioning system. Not a lot of folks get to make it up to the very top of Towers Hall into the attic. There's not much to see up here. It is literally just an attic. But that hasn't stopped students over the years from coming up here and leaving their mark. Really the best thing to do when you're up here is go to the back corner and check out the old bell ringing mechanism. That is what controlled the Towers Hall bell for many years. And if you get a chance, check out the south facing, pardon me, the west facing windows. It's one of the best views across the campus. To get to the very top of campus, you'd have to climb this ladder to get up to the cupola on the very top of the Towers Hall roof. What do you think, Steve? Want to go up there and get a shot? Go. Get on top of it before they do. Every 24 minutes, tipped furniture or a falling TV sends an injured child to the emergency room. Preventing tip-over incidents is easy, inexpensive, and only takes five minutes. Learn how to secure your furniture and TVs to protect children at anchorit.gov. Every day I felt worse. Life just waited time. I didn't even want to get out of bed. You're feeling overwhelmed all the time it wasn't just school or home it was everything i didn't think anyone understood just empty no enthusiasm for the things i used to love to do just when i thought there was no way i would ever feel better i discovered a friend i didn't know i had anymore me 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 turns out I had the strength to get myself back. More strength than I knew. I only needed a new way to see things. A new way to see myself. Just needed to take that first step. Okay, I know what you're going through. Too much time inside, not enough outside. And like, what's up with the parents? They're in their own world. Hello? You can't do anything right anymore. No encouragement, no anything. If you're waiting for something to change, maybe it's time to stop waiting and change things yourself. So ask your parents how they're doing. Yeah, you go first. Ask what you can do to help. Parents are people too. And the stresses you're feeling, you can bet they're feeling as well. Best of all, when you help them feel better, it has the same effect on you. Visit yourlifeyourvoice.org for some game-changing ideas on how you can turn things around at your house. When you go first, everybody wins. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium here in Westerville, Ohio. As we get started in about two minutes, the second half of action here in a 21-7 game between the visiting team, John Carroll, Blue Streaks, and the home team, Otterbein Cardinals. Overall, it's been a great 
game so far for the Cardinals. Although they're down 14, John Carroll on average beats opponents by 30 points. So being down 14 at halftime is a big time achievement for the Cardinals. And they started off, or they ended off the first half strong with a huge gain by Owen Mangi from Caden Lasseter, setting up a big time possession and a touchdown for the freshman Griffin in the run game. Well, with just over a minute left, we see both teams getting ready to take the field here for second half of action and the season finale here at Memorial Stadium. Another thing we want to clean up is quarterback Nico Georgiou has been the quarterback for the game for John Carroll, not Joe Collins. So that is our mistake up here in the booth. But Georgiou having a great game himself with a couple of passing touchdowns and a lot of yards here and a big reason why they have the 14-point lead here. It's about to start the second half. Just under three seconds here before we get started. The Otterbein ball to start off, so a chance for them to cut the 14-point deficit down to possibly seven if they are able to go get down, down the field and get a touchdown here. It's been a lot closer than the score shows, too. Mistakes by both teams turnovers, and in the penalty category has made this just a 14-point deficit as we get ready to start the third quarter. But the Otterbein offense, it ended the first half super strong, so we'll see if they can keep up that momentum and maybe find the scheme that works for them and go down and make this a more manageable game. Hopefully make it a little more competitive here. Last thing you want to do is let John Carroll get back onto the field and extend this lead. So a big time possession here for the Cardinals. And a win here, if they are able to pull off the comeback, a win here would be monstrous for the season. And it would be monstrous going into next year in the sense of momentum and just figuring out your personnel, figuring out what seam works for your team. But as we get ready for this kickoff, super competitive game so far. A big time possession here. Could change the sides of the game here. So we get ready for the kick. It's going to be another long line drive. Possibly should have let that one go out of bounds, but fielded around the 13. Here's Broomsfield. And he's going to be tackled around the 24-yard line. Rashawn Broomfield on the return. So a decent gain. 76 yards to go for the touchdown. But any score here would be nice for the Cardinals. So we see Here's Lasseter Boyd in the offense. Forward, Jog out onto the field. It'll be first down and 10 to the line. First from their own 23-yard line. Here to start off this second half. So you see Laster, he's got two, two receivers on both sides as he sends a man in motion. He's got a man to his left. Out of the shotgun, here's the snap. It's going to be an inside handoff. Good gain here to start it off. That's Griffin on the handoff, and he's going to get around Griffin, the ball carrier. four or five here on first down. A great first play here in the second half. So we saw Griffin and Lar, the two freshman running backs for Otterbein, have pretty good, pretty good first halves between the two of them. Griffin capped off the last drive there with a short rushing touchdown. So hoping for the same result here on this possession. Receivers all over the place here for Lasseter. Going to be another handoff to Griffin and another good gain. 
And looks like he may just be just player. short of the first down. Lamar Thomas on the and they are going to mark him short. It'll be about third and one. Gain to the 32-yard line, third down one. Just need to get out to the 33. Lasser out of the shotgun. Another rush here for Griffin. And he is going to be pulled down behind the line of scrimmage. So they do Back not convert the on the third down. Jake Phillips on the stop. But it looks like the offense is going to stay out there. Like I said in the first half, Coach Zagorski, he's been very prone to go for it on fourth down Breaking with a fourth line. and very first manageable. And oh, they're going to call it a first down, actually. A little miscommunication there. So forget the fourth down. Here's a new set of downs here for the Cardinals. Here's Lassiter. It's going to be a front up the middle. Good gain here of about four. That's Lard on the carry. Jake Phillips. Be around second and six. Second and seven here. Little miscommunication there in the backfield, but still going to get a few yards out of this play. Looks like they're going to mark him at the 39. So need about four or five yards here on third down. Third down. Looking to get out to about the 44-yard line. Looks like it'll be a good enough for a first down here. Looks like a false start here on the Cardinals. Going to push him back, make this third down a little bit harder. False start. Offense. Be third and nine third now. Five-yard penalty. Third down. It'll be uh, spotted a 34-yard line here. So now you need nine, ten yards to get the first down. Penalty and marks the ball back yet again, another penalty. Line. They've Third had a few nine. false starts this game. Both teams' false starts have hurt them. But the false start there really hurts them, pushing them back here. Here's the snap. Heavy pressure from John Car Carroll. Now he's going to go out to this side. And it's going to be a first down for the Cardinals. Lasseter using well his here. legs to extend the play and get the first down here for Otterbein. As they're going to be just outside midfield in their own territory. Thomas Niners on the force out. Play game to the 48 yard line. First and 10 Cardinals. Big time play there by Lasseter. False start ends up not hurting them. But the heavy pressure of John Carroll turns into a big time scramble here. And a new set of downs for Otterbein. Here's the snap. It's going to be a pass. Looking for nearside Burton. And excellent defense there by John Carroll. Lasseter's pass incomplete intended for Armani Burton. Picture perfect coverage there Broken by number the 10, by Jacob Huffnagel. Jacob Huffnagel. Second down 10. So it'll be second down and 10 here. Still in their own territory, just outside enemy territory. As we see, Burton's going to be the lone receiver on the far side. We have a couple of Cardinals here on the near side out of the pistol formation. Now Lasseter puts a man in motion. Run up the middle. Good gain here. Looks like they're going to give him about five Mark yards. Parker. Maybe six yards on the carry. Make it a manageable third down. Looks like it'll be third and four here as they do reach John Carroll territory on that run. But needing another third down conversion to extend their drive here. Here's Lasseter. Here's the snap. Going to be another run and a, a big time play there. Juking out the defender, and he's going to get the first down. So the freshman Lard showing a little Barry Sanders action there. 
evading the defense and getting enough for the first down to extend this drive. First and ten, Cardinals. You're going to mark him down at the 41. So just enough for the first down. And this drive is, they've been shedding some clock with this drive, so good thing and a bad thing there for the Cardinals. So we see Lasseter, receivers everywhere, play action. Looking to the near side, Burton, he's got him. And he's going to be tackled inside the 10-yard, big-time play by Otterbein. Possibly setting up another scoring possession here. So we enter under 10 minutes. Lassiter's been looking Burton's way all game and a big time connection there. It's going to result in a Griffin run here and maybe a few yards. Little push down there at the end, going to get him inside the five yard line. Tyler Timmons on the stop for John Carroll. So two good plays has got him inside the five-yard line here. Second down the in search of their second, second touchdown goal. on the game. But if you're Otterbein, this is exactly what you wanted. You come out of the halftime maybe talking to your offense, and you come out just as confident as you ended the game where you got the touchdown. Now last year, he's got Burton one-on-one -on -one to the far side. It's going to be another run for Griffin, and Griffin's going to get in the end zone again touchdown, for another Otterbein touchdown, bringing the game 21-13 to 13 with, with exactly right. nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. With a made PAT here, just down a touchdown. So a six-minute drive there for the Cardinals going to result in seven points, depending on the PAT here. And here's the kick. It is good. So it'll be 21 to 14 in favor of John Carroll. But you can see it in the sideline. You can see it in the stands. Otterbein is pumped up. So we'll get another look here and Nico Georgiou and the rest of the Blue Streak offense. The but a drive. great yards, five offensive minutes. drive there by Otterbein. Multiple big plays, including the scramble by Caden Lasseter on the third, third and long. That was the play that extended the drive. And then a few plays later, big time connection between Lassner and Burton sets him up inside the 10 yard line and the freshman Griffin gets it done the rest of the way, his second touchdown on the game. As he's starting his young career off the right way. But here's the kick, and it's gonna be a touchback. Momentum may have got to the kicker too, as he boots it over the returners, and John Carroll is ready to take off from their own 25-yard line. So John Carroll, they only had three possessions, technically four with the, the in play there, the Hail Mary attempt, but really they went two for three, or three for four on possessions. They had the one punt. Other than that, they have been very good. As we see another pass from Georgiou. And he's got a man just outside of the fingertips. If he would have hit him in stride, probably a touchdown there. So big break for the Otterbein defense. Thankful to see another down after the first play almost went for 75 yards and six. But now it'll be second down and 10. From the 25, be out of the pistol. Got a couple receivers out. Gonna be another run to the far side. 
And Otterbein swarms them. So the defense feeling the momentum. Justin Bartlett on the stop for Otterbein. As the sideline erupts, Justin Bartlett there on the on the tackle. Loss of yards to the 23 yard line. So it'll be third and 12 here for the Blue Streaks. And it's looking like a totally different game if Otterbein can get a stop here. Here's the snap. Here's Georgiou dropping back. Looking deep. He's got a man. Big time play into enemy territory. Tackled around the 43-yard line. Went right across the middle. Had a man. Hit him in stride. And a huge gain here for John Carroll. Going to go in the hurry up. Here's a run. Almost tackled way behind the line of scrimmage. And he's going to be, looks like maybe a loss of about five. So you let up the big play. But then you get him in the backfield for a loss of about five. So up and down here for the Cardinal defense. That'll push it back to about second and 15, second and 16 here. Give the Cardinals another chance to stop them and hopefully still force a punt here and get their offense back on the field. georgie has got a man to his right. He's got two to the near side, one to the far side. Here's the snap. Georgie going to drop back. Looking to the far side. He's got a man caught. Broken tackle, and it's going to result in a first down. Georgie's pass complete. Georgie pass it. So the John Carroll passing game staying hot. Thomas Cherry on the stop for Otterbein. And it's going to result in a new set of downs here the for the Blue Streaks. Here's an inside handoff. Going to be pulled down. And that's Tayon Howard on the tackle. Way behind the line of scrimmage. Tayon Howard on the tackle for Otterbein. The way he got in the backfield almost seemed like it was unfair, like it was offsides, but it was just... An excellent, excellent play there by Tayon Howard as we have an injury timeout here. And we're going to take a little break here at Home of the Cardinals here on BoxCast TV. My name is Blake. I received a heart transplant when I was two weeks old. I play defense for the Red Hot Tornadoes. Sometimes my heart starts pounding like faster and faster as I go. I know I have someone else's heart inside me. It makes me feel happy because someone was generous enough to give me a second chance to live. This gift of life was made possible by an organ donor. Imagine what you could make possible. Sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium. This is Chance Burke as we get ready for the second half of this third quarter. It's a score 21 to 14 in favor of John Carroll. Shotgun snap here for Georgiou, dropping back. Looking to the near side, got a man, 30, breaking a tackle, 25. Down to about the 20 before he's pushed out of bounds. A good game there, enough for another first down. The Blue Streaks keep pushing deeper into the Cardinal territory. Search their fourth touchdown on the game. Looks like maybe a change of personnel here for John Carroll. So they decide how to attack this Cardinal defense here just outside the red zone. Got receivers everywhere. Here's Georgiou, gonna be play action, rolling to the right, now looking back the other way, and he's got a man, and it's gonna be another touchdown for John Carroll. Little misdirection there by the quarterback. Looks back to the near side, and he's got a wide open man for the fourth touchdown of their game. Georgie's pass is complete. Quick drive here 
for John Carroll. And they're going to extend the lead back to 14 with a made PAT here. Here's the kick, and it is good. So John Carroll going to extend their lead 28 to 14. No oh, no good, actually. So lead's going to stay 27 to 14. Third quarter, John Carroll 27, Otterbein 14. So a little break there John for the Cardinals. Drive, eight plays, 75 yards, three minutes, if the Cardinal the offense can recreate what they did, and the defense can come back out onto the field and get a big stop, big turnover, it's a brand new game. Final inside the right center of the OAC Women's Volleyball Tournament. But fast possession, good offensive possession there by John Carroll. Puts the pressure back on the Otterbein offense as we get ready for kickoff here. We saw the passing game kind of carry the Otterbein offense last possession, see if they turn back to the to the passing game here. Big time passing play from Lasseter to Burton set up a short run for the freshman Griffin. But here's the kick. Get another line drive. Caught by Broomsfield. Looks like the same exact kick as last time. But a better return as Broomfield brings it out to about the 32-yard line. Rashawn Broomfield on the return for Otterbein. So a return of about 19 yards from the 13 to the 32. And the Cardinals are going to have good field position Andrew to start Andrew off this drive. For John Carroll. As the Otterbein offense trots back on. See if they can continue their success with back-to-back -back -back touchdowns on their last two possessions. Here's Laster out of the shotgun, man to his right. It's going to be a handoff to Griffin. Griffin's going to be wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Probably just say no gain on the play. Bring up second down and 10. Ian Thomas on the tackle Here's, for John Carroll. No gain on the play. See what kind of formation they're in there. here. Looks like they're going to go trips to the far side. Got Burton in one-on-one -on -one to the near side. Now a man in motion. Here's Laster, shotgun snap. Going to drop back. Looking for Burton again. I think he caught his own pass. And Laster's going to turn the confusing play to a gain of about five. Chris Golson on the stop for John Carroll. It's kind of hard to see Laster short compared to the defensive and offensive lineman down there. Looked like he was going to try to attempt to pass, but pulled back. Took off for the run. Turned it into a decent game, and now they're going to say it's an incomplete pass. We'll see if the ref kind of clears it up here. The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Brings up third down. So maybe batted down the line of scrimmage. Please reset the game clock. For and Lasseter just picked it up and ran with it. But regardless, it's going to bring up a third and ten here for Otterbein. Thank you. And a big time conversion needed to extend this drive. We saw him make a make a big play last possession to keep the drive going. We'll see if they can here. Pass to Burton, and it's going to be pulled in, and that is going to be close. And they are going to say it is a first down. So another big conversion for Otterbein as Burton pulls in the contested catch, and it's going to result in a new set of downs. Just over four minutes left to play here in the third quarter. Otterbein showing signs of dominance here on offense. Scoring touchdowns on back-to-back -to -back possessions. And they just keep making the, the clutch plays to extend drives. 
as they get a first and ten here. Here's Griffin. Gain of about three here on first down. Matt Griffin, the ball carrier. Going to mark him at midfield. Be second and seven here. Here's Lasseter. Lasseter back to pass, looking to the far side. No, nothing going over there for Owen Mangi. So it'll move to third and seven, and another third and fairly long here. Third down seven. But that third and long, third and manageable combination has been what Otterbein has fed off of in this game. So we'll see if they can make another big time play here, big time conversion. Here's Lassiter. It's going to be a handoff up the middle. Maybe try to catch the defense off guard, but it's going to be about a fourth and two. And now in enemy territory, you think Coach E's probably going to go for it here. And it looks like they are, and it looks like they're going to go into the hurry up. Here's here's Lassiter, and it's going to be a false start. Penalty markers before the snap. So again, the false start coming back to hurt. Otterbein is going to push it back to a third and seven, or a fourth and seven. So we'll see if Coach Z decides to keep his offense on the field, and it doesn't look like it. So Otterbein's going to punt the ball away from midfield. We've seen Coach Z be a lot less aggressive in this game, but... Can't really hate on the strategy. You're only down 13 to the number two team in the OAC with just over three minutes left to go in the third quarter. So they get ready to punt here, try to pin them deep in their own territory. It's like a fair catch and going to be a flag running into the defenseless return man. Penalty marker on the play. So that will help out the John Carroll offense, give them better starting field position. So another, another penalty coming to hurt Otterbein. We'll see uh, where the ball will ultimately be marked after the penalty. Should be spot of the foul plus some. So we'll we'll see. With the opportunity to catch 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. So they're going to get a big time break. They're going to mark the ball. The 35 yard line. As we get another ball look here at the Cardinal defense, still in search of a big stop or a big turnover. We'll see if they can get it here. Here's a sweet play for John Carroll, and he's going to be wrapped up. Looks like at the line of scrimmage, so neither gain or loss there are going to result in a second and ten here. Good first play there for the Cardinal defense. No gain on the play, second down ten. We'll see if they can have another short gain or no gain here on second down. Here's Georgie to pass. He's got a man across the middle, and he's going to run out of bounds. Nico Georgie's pass complete. After a gain of about 10, and it looks like they're going to give him the first down. Yes, they they are. Little discussion among the refs, but they are going to give him the first down. Little drag route has paid off. All game here for John Carroll as we see a handoff to the far side. Going to be wrapped up at the line of scrimmage yet again. Mason Sullivan, the ball carrier. So it'll be another second and ten here for the Blue Streaks. Bartlett on the tackle for Otterbein. 
Justin Bartlett on the tackle there. He's been all over the place here for the Cardinal defense, making tackles, making stops. As we are just now at a minute and a half left in the third quarter. John Carroll trying to put the game out of reach here before the fourth. See what they have draw up. Here's Georgiou to the far side. Got a man. He's going to be tackled. Looks like about a yard short, two yards short of the first down marker. So here, third and short. Nico Georgiou's pass complete. We'll see if the Cardinals can get a stop here. Force a punt. Gain to the 47 yard line, third down two. Possibly one of the biggest plays of the game here, just under a minute in the third quarter. The Cardinals can get a stop here, get their offense back on the field, go down and bring this deficit to within one possession. But here's John Carroll out of the Wildcat, and he's going to take off to the near side, and he is going to be, it looks like they're going to mark him short. Good spot there by the refs. As the senior buckler comes up with the big time tackle, and they are going to mark him short. So fourth down now, but John Carroll's fourth offense down staying on the field. Maybe just running out the quarter. And it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to run out the quarter, talk it over, and see what they decide to do coming into the start of this fourth quarter here. At Memorial Stadium, 27 to 14 lead for John Carroll, but a very competitive game as we're going to take a break going into the fourth quarter here. Home of the Cardinals here on BoxCast TV. Every day I felt worse. I didn't even want to get out of bed. You're feeling overwhelmed all the time. It wasn't just school or home. It was everything. I didn't think anyone understood. Turns out, I had the strength to get myself back. More strength than I knew. I only needed a new way to see things. A new way to see myself. Just needed to take that first step. Welcome to Memorial Stadium. This is Chance Burke as we get ready for the last quarter of action here in the season finale at Memorial Stadium in Westville, Ohio. John Carroll has a 13-point lead over the home team, Ottermine Cardinals, but are facing a fourth and one. And it looks like they're going to opt to punt. So the Cardinal offense have a chance to come down the field and bring this deficit to one possession. And then you got to Lean on your defense to come make a big play, see if they can't come back and win this game. So get ready for the punt. Here it is, and it will be a good looking punt. Gonna be returned at the nine yard line by Alamo, and he's gonna be wrapped up just a couple of yards after. It's like Carol. they're gonna mark him down at the 10 yard line. So a gain of about one. Got a full quarter to go down the field a couple of times and come back and win this game. But regardless, love what I've seen here today by the Cardinal offense and the Cardinal defense. As the defense finally got the big stop they wanted, forcing a punt there. Just need the, just need the offense to come down the field, get a score. But from his own 10-yard line, here's Caden Lassiter. He's going to drop back to pass. Over the middle, caught. Nice little gain on first down out to about the 18-yard line. Gain of eight on first down. Tyler Timmons on the tackle for John Carroll. They're going to go back to the hurry up. And a rush going to get the first down. And it looks like possibly a false start on this near side receiver. Wasn't set up when the play was snapped. We'll see if that's what they call. Just the shift. Offense. Number 45. 
Five yards complete. Second Looks down. like they are going to call that. It's going to push back the first down. Penalty will mark the ball back to the 14. We'll be second line. down again. Be second and about six now. Second down six. See if Laster can get another first down here for the offense. He's got two to the near side. Here's Laster, going to be a handoff up the middle. And not much going there. Maybe a gain of about one or two. So it'll first force the third down here. Like I said earlier, third down has kind of been what has kept this offense thriving. So we'll see if they can keep their, their streak going and convert here. Regardless, I think you I think it's close enough that you're in four down territory no matter where you're at. If you want to come back and win this game as an incomplete pass intended for Burton is going to force a fourth down. And it looks like they are going to punt. So leaning on your defense to get another stop. Aiden Snyder in punt formation. And again, Snyder will be punting from near his end zone. Tyler Mitz back deep for John Carroll. Try to pin the blue streaks as far back as he can. Here's the snap. Here's the punt. Good looking punt. Gonna be fair caught at the opposing 45 yard line. So we'll get to see Nico George you and the rest of this John Carroll offense retake the field and try to put this game out of reach with 13 and a half minutes left to go in the final quarter that will be played here this season. If you're the Cardinal offense, Try to get off the field as fast as you can. Maybe force a three and out, get a turnover. Try to limit the big plays here. Give your offense a chance to come and win the game. Here's Georgie dropping back. Looking deep. He's got a man and it is caught. Huge play to start the drive. Looks like the receiver who caught the ball may be hurt. Made uh, made the adjustment, made the tough contested catch, but he's going to be tended to as we take a break here. Home of the Cardinals here on Boxcast TV. Just had an injured blue streak helped off the field there. Made the big catch, but injured after the play. Hoping he's all right. Hoping he can get back out onto the field. But regardless, inside the red zone now is the John Carroll offense as they're going to start off in the Wildcat formation coming out of the injury timeout. Here's the snap. It's going to be a run to the near side. And it is, he turns it back up, so only going to be a loss of about one or two. Saved himself a few yards there. Looked like it was going to be a loss of about five. But Evan McVeigh and his quick feet coming in handy here for the John Carroll offense. So it'll be second and about 11 or 10 here just inside the red zone.
see what they decide to do here. Looks like they will not be in the Wildcat for this play. He's got a man to the far side and man coverage. And he's coming to the near side. He's got a man incomplete. Good coverage there by Otterbein. Forcing a third and 12 here. Third down 12. Hopefully force a field goal here. Still give your chance to be only down two possessions. But we'll see what they do here. Third and long. Here we go. Here's George U out of the pistol. And it looks like John Carroll's going to call a timeout. Talk it over for their big time third down play. As we're going to take another break here. Home of the Cardinals here on BoxCast TV. Get on top of it before they do. Every 24 minutes, tipped furniture or a falling TV sends an injured child to the emergency room. Preventing tip-over incidents is easy, inexpensive, and only takes five minutes. Learn how to secure your furniture and TVs to protect children at anchorit.gov. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium. This is Chance Burks. We get ready for... A third and long here for the John Carroll offense. Trying to put this game out of reach. We'll see what they decide to do here. They got trips to the near side. Got man-on-man -man coverage to the far side. Georgie, the quarterback, has been hot all game. See if they go back to the passing game here. And they do. Drop him back. He's got a man and it's caught. And he's going to be pushed out. After the first down, so another huge conversion there for John Carroll. Going to have him first and goal inside the five-yard line. Try to punch it in. If the defense can get a turnover here, a first of field goal, you're still only down two possessions. But we'll see what they do here. Here's Wildcat. It's going to be a run going nowhere. Tackled in the backfield. Evan McVay, the ball carrier. Tayon Big Howard time play Randy there the by Tayon Howard and Randy Cochran Jr. to get him in the backfield. Push him back. That'll be second and goal from the eight. Make it a little tougher to push this in. Looks like Georgie is going to go over and talk it over with his coach. We'll see what they decide to do here. Ten seconds on the play clock. They're going to go same formation, Wildcat. Here's the snap, high snap. And it looks like he's going to be pulled down at the five-yard line. The ball carrier. Bartlett in there on the tackle along with Buckler. Justin Bartlett on the tackle for Otterbein. And it's going to be third and goal from the five. Game to the five-yard line, third and goal. So two good plays here by the Cardinal defense. But realistically, you need two more. So see if they can match what they, they started this set of downs on. Ten and a half minutes left to play in the game. Is they're going to go back to uh, shotgun formation with George U. Got two to the far side. Guy next to him. Now in motion. George U under pressure. He's going to break a tackle. Now looking towards the end zone. Now just going to throw it out of, out of bounds. George U evading the pressure. And it looks like the field goal team is going to go out there. So 
huge performance here on this possession by the Cardinal defense, holding them to a field goal even after letting up the big play to put them inside the five-yard line. Even if this kick is good, you're only down two possessions with ten minutes left, so a chance of a win. Kick is good. Still, still realistic here as John Carroll takes the lead 30 to 14 here with 10 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Get to see that Cardinal offense come out. John Carroll scoring drive, eight plays, four Try to yards, three minutes, 26 seconds off the Get themselves back into this game, but by far, this next drive will be the most important drive for the Cardinal offense. And time is not your friend, so scoring fast, definitely going to be a priority here for Otterbein, which they've had. They had the two-minute drive to, uh, to end the first half. Then they had the long drive to start the second half for uh, their two touchdown possessions on the game. But here is the kick. Looks like Broomfield. And Cochran Jr. back to receive for Otterbein. Going to be another line drive kick. Field it at the three. Good re look, good return. Tripped up. Thought he might have could have got the sideline. But John Carroll lucky enough to trip him up. Going to be pushed out of bounds to the 30-yard line. So a return of about 27. Best return of the day for Otterbein. And not bad starting field presented position. To see Caden Lasseter and the rest of the Cardinal offense take over. First and goal, Cardinal. 70 yards to go, 10 minutes. Still need two scores, though. So try to punch it in the end zone as fast as they can. Here's the snap. Going to be an inside handoff. Going to go for a gain of about four. Be uh, second down, six. They're actually going to spot him at the 35, so it'll be second and five. A little more manageable here for the Cardinals. Here's last year. He's got trips to the near side. And it's going to be another run here, and he's going to be pulled down quickly John the ball and carrier. maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. Looks like that's what they're going to give him. Maybe a gain of one, actually. So it'll be third and four here. So back-to-back -back run plays here for the Cardinals, setting them up with a third and four, their own 36. See Lasseter starting off with an empty backfield. Now he's got a man in motion to his right. Trips to the far side. One-on-one -on -one coverage to the near side. Lasseter throws it up and just throws it out of bounds. Pressure by John Carroll. Too much, so he gets rid of it. Smart play, avoid the sack. But here comes the punt team for the Cardinals. So Unable to get the touchdown, but only shut off a minute and 15 seconds. So if you can go get a quick stop here on defense, put yourself in the same scenario with just a little less time. But here's Snyder. Hunting from around his 25-yard line. Low punt. And it's going to be returned by John Carroll. Good return into Otterbein territory. And he's going to be tackled around the 43-yard line. So the low kick, kind of looking like that squib did earlier, turning into a good return here for the Blue Streaks. As we see the John Carroll offense jog onto the field. Eight and a half minutes to go here. The final quarter of play. 
We'll see how aggressive they are. They're up 16 points. But in the back of their head, they got to think. It's only a two-possession game. So getting points here wouldn't hurt. So we see Georgie drop back. Now across on the drag route. Going to get a gain of about one. Set up a second nine here. As the clock ticks down, that's exactly what you want if you're John Carroll. One to the 42-yard line, second down nine. Probably try to shave off as much clock as he can here just to eliminate the chance of a comeback. So you see Georgie talking over with the offense. You got a shotgun man to his right. Two receivers to the near side. Puts one of them in motion. Here's the snap. Georgie back to pass again. Good defense there by Otterbein. Carlos Alamo. Justin Bartlett there on the pressure. Pumped up after the stop. Now a third and nine. So here's the chance for Otterbein to, to get a stop and get their offense back onto the field. We'll see what John Carroll decides to do here. If you go to the passing game, you risk having an incomplete pass, a turn, uh, an interception. Incomplete pass stops the clock. That's the last thing they want to do. So we'll see. But they are going to go to the passing game. Here's Georgie pointing downfield. has got a man in and out of the hands. Nico Georgie's pass is incomplete. Good coverage there by Otterbein. In and out of the hands. Great pass by Georgiou. He's been excellent all game for John Carroll. But in and out of the wide receiver's hands going to result in a John Carroll punt. Seven and a half minutes left to go. So another minute and 15 second drive going to result in another punt. So now Otterbein will have the ball. Seven minute, 20 seconds, down two possessions. See what the outcome will be like. Good punt. Gonna have Otterbein starting around the 14, 13 oh, yard, line. The yard line. I don't know why the clock Continues to run. Going to have to put the time back up on there. I'm sure that's what the uh, the refs are about to talk it over. Please reset the game clock to 7.17. Seven, seven minutes, 17 seconds left. Starting off this first drive from their own 13-yard line. Thank you in need, in desperate need of a touchdown here. Got to think they're going to be very aggressive in their play calls. So they go back to their little bunch formation here. Now sending Mangy out wide. Here's Lasseter looking Mangy's way. Now passing. It's going to come up short. It's going to be second and 10 from the 13. Just didn't have enough oomph to get it there to Mangi. Second down, 10. Now Laster has two receivers to the far side, two to the near. As he sends a man in motion. Here's the snap, shotgun up the middle, handoff. And he's going to be tackled by after a gain of a about one. They might just say he made it back to the line of scrimmage. On the tackle for John Carroll. But it looks like they are going to give him one yard, so it'll be third and nine. Under seven minutes to play. Here's Lasseter, empty backfield. Now scrambling, going to run. Made a man miss. Not going to be enough for the first, I don't think. Possibly. And it looks like it is going to be enough for the first, so Lasseter getting it done again with his legs. 
showing that he can be dual threats. And now to the passing game. Here's Lassiter under pressure again. Now looking to the far side. Bullet pass going to be caught by Burton and pushed out of bounds. It's about a gain of seven or eight. So Lassiter again using his legs to extend the play. Gain to the 32-yard line, second down. Here's a snap. It'll be a handoff to Griffin, and Griffin's going to get the first down to extend the drive after a gain of about two or three there. Pushing the ball out to the 35-yard line. First and ten, Cardinals. Staying in the hurry up. Here's Lassiter. All the time in the world now scrambling. And he's got a man, and it's going to be caught for another first down. So the passing game staying hot here as Lassiter finds Mangi for a gain of about 11 and another Cardinal first down. Oh, and the snap. Lassiter wasn't looking. So now way back. And Lassiter throws it. And it is intercepted. Tried to get it out of bounds. But it is intercepted by John Carroll. So miscommunication on the bad snap. Turns into an interception. Lassiter trying to do the smart thing and just get it out of bounds, but the pressure was already there, so probably should have just went down with it. So now with five and a half minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, John Carroll's going to take over in Cardinal territory. Don't really know what happened there with the snap. Lassiter wasn't even in position. Looked like he was maybe calling an audible or talking to one of his receivers. But the snap pushes the ball back 15, 20 yards. And now it sets up a new offensive drive here for John Carroll as the first play handoff goes for about nine. Good first gain here for John Carroll. So they will likely just... Try to drain the clock here. Gain to the 30-yard line. Second down two. Be a second and two after the first play here. Be out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the near side. None to the far side. As they're going to count down the play clock. Try to burn as much clock as they can. And a run right up the middle, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, John Carroll. Touchdown, John Carroll. The interception leads to a two-play drive that took nearly no time. And another touchdown here for John Carroll as they extend the lead 36-14 to 14 with just under five minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. Bobby Quibba with the 30-yard touchdown rush. 30-yard rushing touchdown there. For the blue streaks as they get ready for the PAT. Try to extend this lead to 23. Here's the kick. It is good. Kick is good. So the lead is now 37 to 14 in favor of the blue streaks. Penalties. And just overall, just just mistakes have come back to hurt Ottervine, but overall, very competitive game. So they still have four minutes, 51 seconds left to go. Maybe go out and get another score before time expires. But overall, this has been arguably their best looking game of the year overall on both sides of the ball. Seen good things from the offense and the defense. But we'll get ready for kickoff here. John Carroll's kicker sets up the ball. Looks like Broomsfield and Cochran Jr. Again, we'll be back to receive. Oh, and Shucker to kick off for John Carroll. Had a good return last time. Try to match the result on this kick, but another low line drive caught at the six, seven yard line. 
Going to be brought out, and it's going to be tackled. It's like they're going to spot him at the 24-25. As the two teams get a little rowdy after the tackle. So a familiar field position. It's been where they've started pretty much every drive somewhere in that area. To the Haven't scored line. since their first possession of the third quarter, so first and ten Cardinals. try to come out and at least less than the deficit from 23. But we'll see. Here's Lassiter out of the shotgun. Going to be a pass. Looking to the far side. And he's going to run him over on his way to a gain of about eight. That's Jay Bradley on the catch. Lasser, good, good pass out into the flat. And Bradley does the rest going on to lay out a John Carroll defender. This play going nowhere. Looks like it's going to be spotted back at the line of, original line of scrimmage. Here as we enter under four minutes left to go in the game. We'll bring up a third and three. Gate of one to the 33. Third down two. They're actually going to spot it third down and two. So a little more manageable here. He's got stacked receivers on both sides. Man to his right. Here's Lasseter. He's picked up multiple third downs with his legs. And looks like he's going to do it here too. Lasseter, big, big gain, 50. Pulled down at the 49, getting into enemy territory. Lasser using his dual threat abilities to extend drives, and it's a big reason why they're as close as they are in the game as they are right now. Now Lasser dropping back. Pressure again, pulled back hard and awkward. But nonetheless, going to be a sack for John Carroll here. Loss of yards back. As we inch closer to three minutes left in the game. Second down. Be second down and about 17. Just eyeballing it. See what they, they're going to spot it down at the 44 yard line. As Lasser gets ready to take back over. Sending a man in motion. Here's the snap. And it looks like another false start for Otterbein. Going to push him back even further. False start, defense. Number 78, five-yard penalty, second down. Say that, going to call that on number 78, Clayton Adams, the left tackle. And just another, another penalty that's hurting Otterbein. A little, little too late in the game. Aside from a miracle on the comeback attempt. But now with an empty back pit field, here's Lassiter. Three to the far side, and that's where he's looking. Oh, he's got a man wide open downfield. Had a few of them, and it's going to be a big-time gain back into enemy territory. Aiden Snyder going to get the catch. They're going to mark him down. The at the 43 yard line. Third and a lot more manageable. And another open receiver and another big gain just outside the red zone as he finds Mangy there. And Otterbein stringing together a couple of plays here in the final two minutes. Lasseter empty backfield again. Here's the snap. Lasseter has got some time. Now extending the play with his legs. And he finds a man. Going to be just outside the 10-yard line. Another good passing play. Lasseter showing a lot of promise in this game. He's had the two interceptions, but the second one, just a confusing play all around. But 
a penalty marker. We'll see what they call it. Number 17 went out of bounds on his own and was the first to touch a forward pass. Illegal touching. They're going to call legal touching. They're going to say Snyder stepped out of bounds on his own, came back yeah. in and caught the pass. So the big pass play there, going to get erased as they're back outside the red zone at the 22-yard 20, line. As they reset the ball. A minute and a half left to play. Be second down and 10 here for the Cardinals. See if the penalty killed their momentum or not. They're going to go back to the empty backfield with Lassiter. Now he's got a man to his right. Here's the shotgun snap. Run up the middle. And it's going to get him inside the red zone to about the 18-yard line. That's Bradley on the carry. He's had a pretty good drive here in the closing minutes. Laid the big hit on a John Carroll defender earlier in the drive. But a minute and 15 seconds left here. Third and manageable. Empty backfield again. Third down six. Here's Lasseter. Lasseter going to be just a QB draw. Makes a man miss. Makes a, breaks another tackle. And he's going to get a first down. Kate Lasseter, the ball carrier. As we come inside one minute, first see if Cardinals. they can't get another score here to end the season. And that play going to be stopped okay, Bradley, after carrier. about a gain of one or two. You're going to mark him down at the 10 yard line. 35 seconds left to go. I don't know if the Cardinals will try to get another score or not. And it looks like Otterbein is going to call a timeout. So we're going to go ahead and take a break here. Home of the Cardinals here at BoxCast TV. Unlike other health concerns, mental illness is not always easy to see. D E P R. Mental illness doesn't show up on a scale. Bipolar? Sorting out a mental health concern takes professional diagnosis and treatment. Anxiety. I thought so. If you or a loved one has a mental health concern, don't go it alone. For 24 hour free and confidential information and treatment referral, call 1 800 662 HELP. Learn more at SAMHSA.gov support. Welcome back to Memorial second Stadium. So we get ready for second and nine here at the 10-yard line for Otterbein. And looking towards the end zone. It's going to be caught. Touchdown, touchdown Cardinals. Cardinals. 20 seconds left to play. They call the timeout. And they come out of the timeout and they get a touchdown. So going to bring the deficit from 37 to 14, 37 to 20. 10-yard touchdown reception. Just kind of trying to end the season on a high note there with a, another touchdown, and they're going to keep the offense on the field here. Down 17 with 20 seconds left. you got to think there's no chance at a comeback, but regardless, here's the two-point conversion. Looking to the near side for Burton, and he got it. What a catch there by Burton in the corner of the end zone. Burton for the two-point conversion. That's going to bring the score from 37 to 20 to 37 to 22 here with 20 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Burton goes up, and he gets those toes down. 20 seconds, fourth quarter. Looked like he got two toes down, so that would have been a catch tomorrow too. But good drive there by the Cardinal offense, capped off by... Touchdown pass from Caden Lasseter and a two-point conversion caught by Armani Burton. So I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on in, on the sideline over there for Otterbein, but 20 seconds left. Are we going to see a...
My question is, are we going to see an onside kick? Doesn't look, doesn't look like it. They called the timeout to stop the clock and to get the extra score. So I'm just curious to see if maybe they know something we don't know on the sideline over there in 20 seconds is good enough to come back. But we'll see. Here's the kick, and it is an onside kick, and it's going to be caught there by John Carroll. The return man took a big hit, and he's a little slow to get up, but looks like he is doing at least okay to get up. Maybe a little shooken up after the hit. But props to Otterbein for going for the onside kick late in the game. They went and got the touchdown. They they tried the onside kick. So probably just 20 seconds in the game, probably just see a, a knee here. Ball spotted at the Otterbein 46-yard line, first and 10. I'm going to spot the ball at the 46-yard line for Otterbein. And we'll see if they decide to go into victory formation. And it looks like they are. And here's the snap, and it's just going to be a knee here. So John Carroll's going to come out on top, 37-22. to 22. But overall, at least from what I've seen, this is the best the Cardinals have played all season, and this is exactly what you want going into next season. Learning new schemes, learning new personnel that works together good enough to – compete with the number two team in the OAC, only losing by 15. And on average, John Carroll beats their opponents by 30. So the Cardinals cut that in half today. Here, the last game of the season here at Memorial Stadium. This is Chanceburg here at home of the Cardinals on BoxCast TV.